Hi everyone, welcome. Thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to share with you my Burberry coat collection. I've been collecting Burberry coats for probably the past five years and the reason why I like it is because it's very classic, timeless, it's not going to go out of style. So I just think it's a good investment piece. Um, I probably buy about uh, one coat per year. Anyways, so let me get started. Now, all my Burberry coats, they are um, the Brit line. They've got the Brit line, uh, Burberry London, and Prosum line. Um, the Brit line is just a little bit more youthful and more affordable compared to the other two lines. So I have six coats to share with you today. Here we go. The first coat I have is my short cropped uh, moto jacket. It's a puffer jacket and I purchased this at the Las Vegas Burberry outlet store and I believe I think I paid about uh, five or six hundred dollars for it on sale and um, it's it's wonderful. It's super warm. It's made of a uh, goose down filling inside. Uh, it's a nylon coat um, I like it because it's different because it's got the moto style, not the typical uh, boxy style jacket. It's tapered on uh, the waist area here. It's very cute. And um, yeah, so um, I love the inside lining. Um, it's got the uh, Burberry pattern in, in there. Uh, two front pockets. The zipper pocket on the side here, I don't ra rarely ever use that. It's got nice detailing with the buttons and also the zipper on the sleeve here and it's got a, a hidden hood underneath and this is what I'm talking about how a lot of the puffer coats they go straight down or they have the lines going on the side where this it kind of curves in so it gives it a really nice silhouette and I love this coat it's very warm so the second coat I'm gonna show you is my long puffer coat and uh, again I deliberately went with a different pattern so this has got the uh, diamond pattern so it's just a little bit more flattering especially when you wear puffer coats it doesn't look necessarily the greatest because you look like the Mich Michelin man because it's so puffy and um, it's a longer kind of knee length coat and uh, it's got um, a nice silhouette again where it kind of curves in at the waist um, made with a uh, goose down filling it's got um, snap buttons zipper and inside uh, with the Burberry plaid lining again and um, you've got two side pockets but there's one on the inside and another pocket on the outside here so you got four pockets on either side a belt I usually just tie my belt and then with a detachable hood and also the fur trim area here this is detachable as well um, I purchased this on the Burberry online store and I got it on sale for $850. I probably purchased this maybe about four years ago, three, four years ago. And then my very first Burberry wool coat was purchased at the Vancouver flagship store at Burberry. And this coat I paid uh, $11.50 for it. Um, I love it. It's very neutral. It's kind of like a smoke trench color. It's got a funnel collar here and on the inside I don't know if you can really tell um, it's got the Burberry lining as well and um, all the buttons and hardware it does say, uh, say Burberry on it. So two zipper pockets on the chest area and I never really use um, these pockets. It's got a belted waist and then two side pockets. So it's, it's very classic and timeless and um, I think I can keep these forever. They're never ever going to go out of style. And that's how it looks like. Now my third, my fourth coat would be 
my black in wool. Um, so this coat I got on sale and um, can't remember how much I paid for this. It, it's probably about a thousand dollars or so and I believe I purchased this one at Bloomingdale's and I bought uh, this version. All my coats are same same but different where either it's got zippers or buttons um, and different color wool coat or different color finish of the buttons. Uh, the last coat was gunmetal buttons. This one has silver buttons. Um, again, where it's similar is because it's got zippers up on the chest pocket area, but down below here, uh, that the last coat I showed you had open pockets where this one has a button in front of the pocket area um, and double breasted again as well. Um, the difference here is I've got a zipper on the sleeve, whereas the last one was a strap with a button. It's different in the back where I don't have a belt and it's um, kind of uh, uh, roughly down below. So it just gives it a little bit different look, uh, enough for me to buy another coat. And again, it's got the Burberry lining on the inside. This is how it looks like. And then my fifth coat, I bought a Burberry trench. Now, um, I do own a black coach trench, so that's why I didn't pick up a Burberry one. So this is the, the color code is called trench. And I bought this um, at Neiman Marcus during the gift card event so that way I got about like 20% uh, back in gift cards and um, yeah so this is I, the reason why I bought this one is to wear during the fall as well as the spring in the inside there's actually a, a quilted liner that you can unbutton here and take out um, so I specifically looked for um, a rain jacket with the liner so I can wear it during the fall and then uh, when it gets warmer during the spring I can take out the liner and wear this as well so um, it's just a classic coat and I deliberately wanted to find something very classic and timeless that I can keep forever so uh, to me I think it's worth the investment um, this one's different where uh, the back of the collar actually has a pattern so when you flip it up it just looks so sharp. It's got a belted waist and then here you've got the uh, belt around the sleeves and it's got like bronze color buttons on. And my final coat is a camel color coat. And I wanted a camel version to go with my bags and jewelry that has the uh, gold hardware. Um, it looks very striking together. Again, I went with the uh, funnel collar. Um, this one's different where it doesn't have the zippers on the top, but it's got the flaps, uh, belted waist. And here, again, you got two pockets, a zipper pocket in the back, and then an open pocket in the front. Um, it's got the uh, Burberry uh, plaid signature lining inside and in the back just has the raincoat style where um, you've got the flap and the, the belt and then a little strap by the sleeve and there you have it that is my Burberry coat collection I think next year um, I have my eye on either a red or a charcoal gray coat and um, that's it so thank you for watching my Burberry coat collection and um, please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and we'll see you again soon